Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I shall be discussing on the computer networks. So before going into the details of this particular subject, I will be discussing the fundamentals of this particular subject. The very first thing will be how do you define a computer network. So it is a group of two or more interconnected computer systems. For example, I will just give you an illustration here. If you are connecting that is more than one computer. Now presently in this example, I am just showing you a very simple illustration wherein there are four systems connected with each other. So this type of connection, we call it as a network and this is done basically to share the resources, to communicate, to make the systems communicate with each other. Here, look here, the devices can communicate with each other, they can share the resources and this will reduce the costing of any organization. So how does it reduces the costing of an organization? See the reason here is if an organization is having a printer or the printer has to be used separately by each user in the organization. Instead, if the printer is connected to a network, then all the users that are connected with the systems can make use of this printer. So definitely there is no need to buy separate print printers for each uh, person or a user, it can be shared. That way, this is just one example I am giving here for printer. And likewise, you can share the other devices that are connected to the network. So basically, what is that we have to say? Devices can communicate with each other, they can share the resources and reduces this reduces the costing of an organization. Now, there are different types of networks. The very first one is the PAN. PAN is personal area network. So here in this personal area network, this network is basically used for the home. That, that is, it is, a, it is used at home for your personal use. Personal use in a sense, at home you want to make your system, your laptop getting connected with other devices present in the house. Like for example, if you are connecting your uh, PC with another mobile phone, with a speaker, with the printer, so all these devices can communicate with each other and the range for this network can be 10 meters. You can make these devices connect with each other via a Bluetooth or a wireless. The next type of network is LAN. We call it as local area network. So this is done in any small organization or office or library or school or hospital wherein the systems are connected with each other so in this manner the systems are connected this is also one of the topology that i'll be explaining you in the later class later sessions at present you can just note here that the systems are connected in this particular fashion in the in a organization and this organization is having like this, uh, these devices can communicate only within the organization, fine. And this, the range for this particular network is less than 150 meters. So definitely it can work in a school, it can work in a college, it, a hospital, library. Likewise, you will have this type of network wherein you are making all the systems uh, communicate with each other via the network. We have the MAN metropolitan area network, collection of lands will form man. Now collection of lands will form a man. Here you can see there is one land, land one, land two. So it is like you are connecting the different organizations, the different buildings in a city. Buildings in a city like for example if you are in a city you are connecting a school, hospital, a college. So likewise, these type of organizations, these type of uh, buildings can be connected via what? Via the metropolitan area network. So this is, this can work, that is the range for this metropolitan network is 50 kilometer. Finally, you have the next type of network, the wide area network, collection of lands and mans will form wide area network. So I can connect here one or two man metropolitan area network and make it as what? One wide area network. So this is like connecting a country 
or different countries you can go for the van connection we call it as a wide area network so this wide area network the range is not fixed as you know that it can connect countries it can connect parts of the uh, cities in a country so likewise you can form a very very wide area network here or we can say that a very big network can be formed with this type of connection pan lan man and van these are the four different types of networks now what are the advantages of the networks the there are various advantages and disadvantages here i have mentioned few of the advantages and disadvantages resource sharing is definitely the very first advantage i have mentioned in this list so the resources are as i said you can connect printers scanners to the network and make use of this particular network to share the resources file sharing is another uh, advantage this one uh, one of the advantages files can be shared among all the different users that are connected in the computer network and retrieving the lost data or how what does it mean suppose if one particular user loses the data in his system definitely the data can be retrieved from the server so that is there, there is a backup here so definitely the data can be retrieved security aspect is there you are not allowing any other user to access this particular network most of the time what we take what particular care is taken is this users are given uh, usernames and password so anyone who want to access the network first has to type the, their username and password so this is secured system also this network then we have a greater storage capacity since we are using a server with a very high memory to store the data definitely that is one of the biggest advantage of computer networks but certainly there are disadvantages also what are the disadvantages you require devices to connect because to make this computer networks talk with each other communicate with each other you require devi network devices and the cost of the network devices is high so the, which are the devices that can be used to connect in a computer network like hub bridge router switch all these are the devices so when to use a hub when to use a switch when to use a router this i'll be discussing in my next lecture or uh, in one of my lecture series so that is one thing you have to spend money in order to buy these devices you need an internet with high speed unless and until you have an internet connection you are not able to get the communication successfully done among the different systems you require a high uh, capacity server which stores the data which processes the data very fast so definitely cost is going to uh, incur here at this uh, in this uh, computer network and to manage this network definitely a person is required if there are any faults failures happens for any of the systems then somebody has to look after this particular network so normally we call it as a handler for the computer network or you can give the name as administrator who looks after the computer network so here also we have to spend to pay for this particular administrator then there is a possibility of virus attack when network when the devices get connected with each other via the internet there is a possibility of the virus getting into the network so which may corrupt the data that is present in the network or server so these are the different disadvantages and advantages of a computer network hope you people have understood this topic that is this is the very first the fundamentals of computer networks and next let me go, go with the topologies of the network and then i'll come to the devices that are used to connect to the network so let me just start with the very first fundamentals and then move slowly to the topics of little bit i'll increase the complexity of the topic so this particular series which i am going to discuss is for the students who are learning computer networks in the colleges and the universities basically in the engineering course this computer networks is the subject which is for the second year or third year students so this thank you